不是因为我写的很精彩，而是中国故事就很精彩。一四年到的中国，我一下飞机就觉得终于回家的感觉。我的目标是让更多的西方人去了解中国一下，因为我喜欢中国的文化，所以这是我的一个梦想来这里。一九三六年六月，美国记者埃德加·斯诺来到陕甘宁边区，进行了为期四个多月的采访，见到了许多中共和红军领导人，用镜头和纸笔记录下了在延安的所见所闻。Adventure story,、um, and then more than that, more deeply than that, is once he got to China, I was really、um, moved and impressed by how he went over with no preconceived notions about what the Chinese people were and about what China was. He he was a journalist. He went with his eyes just wide open and just observed and talked to people and met people and got to know them, learned the language, you know, and just. And and just immersed himself so that he could get the real story in the real people's words, instead of just through some lens of politics. It was just a shocking revelation.、Um, nobody had ever heard anything remotely like this or read anything remotely like this before. It just took the world by surprise, opened the world's eyes. Got them looking at China, thinking about China, paying attention to China in a whole different way. I just think it provided factual information. He was a, an invaluable source of information about the actual condition of actual people in China. He's a great model. Go without a bias. Try to get people's real story. In their own words, spend the time. Take the time where you get to deeply, deeply know and understand、um, what you're writing about, particularly the human part of the story, which is always going to be the best and most important part of the story. I hope what his legacy is is to is to have an open mind. And to travel and to experience other cultures without judgment, and to observe and to share, and and to find out what we have in common, which is almost always so much more than what we don't. You know, so I think that's a beautiful legacy that he had. I also think intellectual, honest reporting. Is a huge part of his legacy. He was really a fine, fine example of an intellectually honest and rigorous reporter. To further his mission, Snow's own mission of trying to increase understanding and friendship between the people in the United States and and China by exchanges. The foundation has brought over many delegations from China to the U.S.、Um, has brought many delegations of Americans over to China.、Um, that if and always people are changed. No American comes home from China the same. I think one for sure real highlight is going to Yunnan. When you go into the heartland, oh my goodness, the level of of reverence for Edgar Snow just seems like it magnifies, and and to see where he was, to see the caves where he had those interviews, you know, and to see、um, just some of that amazing landscape that's out that way that's so dramatic, you know, the falls and the hill and. All of that. It was, it was really special, really moving. Yeah, I, I think really probably that's the most precious to me is that time in the heartland where it's 
where you're reliving the Edgar Snow history. I think most problems, whether it's personal or political, from the lowest level to the highest level, come out of ignorance. And when, when enough people start understanding each other, countries can understand each other. If we can get back to talking and back to just trying to understand each other and back to focusing on the many, many, many things we have in common and our shared goals instead of what we disagree with about each other, I think and hope we can get back to a much more harmonious relationship because both countries need it and frankly the world needs it.